Shalom family. Um, today I want to talk about um, the slavery issue. Uh, we have a lot of movies that have been coming out over the last few years um, depicting slavery, uh, chronicling that those uh, centuries uh, which we endured uh, enslavement uh, particularly in, in this country and um, I just wanted to kind of break that down and point out what I believe is, is the underlying reason for all of these movies that we are continuing to see series, movies, remakes, all kinds of things have been um, coming out on television and the big screen. And I believe that uh, the most high is behind this to remind us who we are and through the Ruach HaKodesh and people that he has appointed to explain this that the reason behind slavery was because of disobedience and turning away from the commandments and the scriptures from rejecting Yah as being our Elohim as being our ruler um, and turning to other so-called gods what we call paganism which has been a problem for Israel uh, all throughout our history if you look in the scriptures then you will see this and the reason why I'm saying it's been a problem for Israel all throughout our history is because that's who we are the so-called Negroes the so-called descendants of slaves um, are Israelites um, and if you, you have doubts about this, instead of getting angry or laughing it off or um, you know, calling somebody crazy, why don't you research it for yourself? Um, Deuteronomy 28 chapter starting at verse 15, why don't you go and read those scriptures and pray for understanding. You will see that there is no other group on earth that has endured what is in those scriptures that slavery and the legacy that it has left upon us that people tell us to get over we will never get over until we turn back to the most high we have to turn back to Yah and turn away from this wickedness in order for us to get our true reparations which is the blessings and protections and power that is promised us his chosen people if we obey him now, the scriptures teach us in these last days that Yah is awakening his people he is calling them from the four corners of the earth to reestablish them the northern kingdom and the southern to reunite them Judah and Israel together in one kingdom as we were long ago uh, this continued paganism these pagan practices and this wickedness is continually keeping us separated from the most high and all of these slavery films is a constant reminder to us it's not for anybody else it's not for anybody else I mean our oppressors and the offspring and descendants of our oppressors are not going to change anything no laws will be created to uh, make this right um, you know there'll be some guilt there'll be some anger or whatever but nothing's going to change because of these films and no law will be created that will change anything because this is a spiritual matter this is a matter between Israel and Yah nobody else our 
oppressors, those who are uh, seeking to destroy us, because they are, Yah himself will deal with. We have to wholeheartedly turn to Yahuwah. And if you look at the state, our spiritual state as a whole today, it is in ruins. It is in ruins because our whole concept of communication with Yah comes through Christianity, which was delivered to us in slavery as part of the punishment. All of the legacy of slavery is negative, and Christianity is a part of the legacy of slavery. No one can deny this. We were introduced and um, totally indoctrinated in this during the time of slavery. The first black church was established on a plantation. The black preachers a lot of times couldn't even read were delivering messages that were approved and a lot of times dictated to them by their slave masters we are only carrying on a tradition that was delivered through slavery as all the other traditions that we carry on that we recognize as negative that have been an outgrowth of being enslaved in this country Christianity is just another outgrowth of that punishment. And we constantly see these slavery films, we constantly see the negativity that is in our communities, the things that are uh, getting worse, um, all because of our disobedience and continued disobedience to the Bible when we have the entire Christian movement for the most part uh, is totally teaching uh, a doctrine contrary to what Yah would have us to do we are people who were chosen by Yah who he walked with fought for talked with appeared in many forms too and expected us to reverence him to serve and obey him which we did not do look in the Old Testament and see time and time again that we disobeyed the commandments we went into different captivities we were slaves to many different nations kings and rulers were over us who were not supposed to be and the same is happening now rulers are over us who are not supposed to be so in order for our circumstances to change we have to do what they did in the bible they cried out to Yah and they turned to him and he delivered them we have to do the same today. We have to cry out to Yah, turn back to Him, and He will deliver us because it's all in the prophets that He will gather us up. He's waking us up now. And many people, unfortunately, our own brothers and sisters who are in Christianity are looking at us as wackos, nut jobs, crazy, and in some kind of cult because we believe. And understand our nationality and our heritage. And understand the true names of the Father and Son. The true power that we should be yielding. That we should uh, have in our lives. So, you know, if you're, you're a Christian, you're, <laughs> unfortunately, you know, you need to research. You need to say, well, you know, there is something you you have to know to realize there is something wrong. I mean, 
you've been in these churches long enough to see all the mess that's going on there. All of the backbiting, backstabbing, lying, whoring around, wickedness, perversion, right in front of you. You know what I'm talking about. Because people just keep it a secret, you know, it's a dirty little secret. Little things that go on, and you're looking at the pastor like, really? Yet you come again in the following week. We can't live like this. We are never going to get over slavery, never going to get over the legacy of slavery unless we turn back to our Creator. Understand that the Bible is your book written by your people for you, Negroes. If you understand this, then it will make perfect sense what has happened to us and what's happening to us now. No politician going to fix anything. No laws will be created that will fix anything that Yah himself has judged against you. You cannot lift his hand off of you through legislation. You lift his hand off of you through obedience. You repent of your sins truthfully and wholeheartedly, not with an understanding that you're going to do, continue to live this way and just try that you will actually be a doer of the word, the word that was written for you. No one else really even cared about the scriptures and, and Israel. I mean, they were doing their own thing. Constantine was doing his own thing. He wanted to unify the people in his, you know, rulership, under his rulership. And they were all pagan, so he decided to use the scriptures and make some changes here and there. Duh create this deity and give them a name that they all would agree to because of course they worship Zeus and different pagan deities and the S-U-S on the end of the name of Jesus or Jesus sorry or Isus just means Zeus now to bring them all together instead of Yahushua which means the salvation of Yah or Yahshua for short, they changed that name and then an image was attached to that name. This is our main problem and has resulted, as I say time and time again, in our downfall. It continues to keep us in bondage. So you're going to keep seeing these slave movies and you're going to keep seeing things in the media and so on and so forth that are going on in our lives that are negative yes there's some positive stuff happening that you never see yes 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 but the negative will be accentuated because the, this is a result of our disobedience because if the negative wasn't happening they couldn't show it and we should be a people a righteous people an obedient people to that scripture a people who are feared because Yah is with us. Not because they think we're going to shoot them. Rob them. But because Yah is with us. And has shown himself strong on our behalf. This will occur. If we turn back to him. So again. I, I encourage you to study Deuteronomy 28. Starting at verse 15. This is a chronicle. Our life. And our plight. Um, presently and historically see wait a minute this matches what we're going through pray for understanding don't disregard because you just so brainwashed that you just believe that you know us little old heathens uh, that the most high gonna accept us in too and all oh, we're so grateful that we were slaves so we can get introduced to Jesus that's garbage you are the people of the book. The book was hijacked and other people took it and trying to make it their own and try to kick you out of it. 
and present it to you as if this is some uh, you know Christian thing they're doing they didn't want us to read or write didn't want us to be free didn't want us to, to, to even learn anything and they sure didn't believe that we were going to be in the same heaven as them you know, Christianity was not given to us to be obedient to Yah they weaponized it to be obedient to them so that's why the this Jesus looks like them. The Israelites were Negroes people. The Israelites were no stranger to slavery people. We were enslaved and in captivity many times because of disobedience. This is our last and final captivity. It's time for us to wake up turn back to Yah and understand that he will fight for us he will restore us he will empower us he will prosper us but we have to be obedient and not playing games jumping and hooping and hollering around on Sunday and then disobeying Yah continuing these punishments every other day of the week So it's just food for thought. Research for yourself if you are truly thinking about this and something that's intriguing you, then research, pray about it. And Yah will open your understanding. Again, love to the family. Mishpaka. The Israelites everywhere. It's time for us to wake up and get out of this slavery and get out of this negative legacy and all of this wickedness that so easily ensnares us. Hallelujah. Till next time.